You work on trucks? Jeremiah is Jeremiah is such great. a good improviser. Dude, Jeremiah is, is really a is. fucking multi half uh fat half in it, half in it, fast, fast whatever the fast fuck he is. That one. Yeah. Jeremiah is a fuck. He's all over the map. He'll do he it always- all. <laughs> it's the haircut. Okay, so you got cancer and you're like, I dress like a softball coach. No. Okay, cool. He's a funny dude, yeah. man. Jeremiah's oh, very shit. funny. You don't understand. This is my dojo. <laughs> I do this every night of my life, and I judo white women like you all the time. Well, Jeremiah just makes me laugh it's so hard. Everything he does just kills me. Let's just say I was feeling at this show. I just got done doing my impression of Professor Snape from Harry Potter when a woman at the table stage right to me kept interrupting with little asides throughout the bit and even fact checking me on some of my references. So I took it personally. This table's really into uh, nerd and pop culture, huh? Because you guys, you because you, you guys have been even during Tyler's set, you're like, actually. <laughs> Excuse me, real quick, um... Uh, R.I.P. Alan Rickman. <laughs> Very into it, huh? What house are you? Ravenclaw. Figures. <laughs> what? Apartment? That's what kind of house you're in? Sick, dude, sick. Freaking got her, dude. Freaking got her, dude. Freaking got her. She's not your girlfriend tonight. Get out of here, dude. It's nice to see a slither in here. <laughs> yeah, there it is, brother. Guy with the glasses got it. Nobody over here got it. This guy did his own rim shot. He went, go, go, go. I feel like some of this crowd's on Molly right now, and some of them is clearly on cocaine right now. <laughs> I like this SoundCloud rapper table right here. This is, <laughs> yeah. I see you guys putting out those fat beats online. I love it. You wore the good chain tonight, son. Let's go. Let's go. Do you do music at all? No, no, it's just a passion, really. <laughs> nah, fam, it ain't like that, fam. It ain't like that, but you do? Uh, I knew it was somebody at the table. <laughs> oh, you're his producer? Yeah, I'm behind the board, actually. I'm not actually not on the mic, bro. It ain't like that, it ain't like that. He's a talent, I'm just, you know, I just assist the talent. What kind of music you do? Um, I, I DJ. You DJ? Oh, heck yeah. What kind of DJ stuff do you do? I DJ shows, clubs, and festivals. Shows, clubs, and fest. Awesome. I knew there was some Molly going on in here. <laughs> I sensed it, you know what I mean? You ever done Molly? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what did I say, guys? <laughs> there was a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Actually, uh... <laughs> This is just the fact checker. She's the stenographer. <laughs> okay, let me read this back to you. I have a little issue with one of your jokes. Have you ever been to a music festival before? <laughs> yeah. 
they named Molly after me. I'm Molly. <laughs> I love it. So fun. What music festival have you been to? Kaboom. Okay. Anything else? Well, <laughs> you've you've a fun way you say things. It's a lot of like. Can I talk to the manager? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun the way she talks. Hi. Um, this food is cold. <laughs> I'm gonna need to talk to the head chef tonight. <laughs> how, how long have you two been dating right here? Not at all? Never? You, are you single? Close enough? Dude, I'm not trying to have sex with you. I don't know what this... Why are you saying close enough? I mean, we'll see, man. We'll see how the rest of this night goes, bro. That was a, such a strange response. Oh, six degrees of separation. Actually, he is single, actually. <laughs> I have something to say here. So how do you know these three beautiful women right here? You, you just got sat with this group of three? You bought one ticket? Hey, don't all that. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome when people come to comedy shows no matter what. Don't all that. Don't do that. All right. Cause y'all odd. I'm, I'm gonna get one of these ladies to have sex with this man tonight. You don't do that. You don't awe my man over here. He came out to have a good time tonight, and we're gonna get him a good time tonight. Now, ladies, somebody volunteer his tribute. <laughs> A live dating game here tonight. This man is single, uh, kind of. Okay, so uh, what do you do for work, bro? Project manager. Your project manager. Okay, that sounds fancy, ladies. It's not? Dude, I gotta tell you something, man. I'm trying to build you up. Don't tear yourself down. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get this project off the ground. <laughs> How long have you been managing projects? <laughs> hmm? About, a year. About a year. What were you doing before that? Working on trucks. Working on trucks. <laughs> well, a guy's interested. Ooh. <laughs> Every woman dried up in here, and this guy's like, ha! Ah! <laughs> Did somebody say truck? He's like, back it up. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Dude, why are guys so into trucks? <laughs> like, that guy just turned gay for trucks. <laughs> like, so you say trucks? Yeah. I'll suck a dick for a truck. <laughs> After the truck talk, I transition into some newer material about my son loving garbage trucks. Then I go into a bit from my special daddy. When 30 seconds into the bit, something happened to me that has never happened to me on stage before. He started calling me Dada recently, which is pretty cool. I was glad he went with Dada over Daddy, because Daddy has been ruined for me <laughs> by the adult entertainment industry. Anytime I hear the word daddy, I just picture a hot girl going, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, sorry. Like, I'm going to see my son crawling. He's
I'm without a mic now. My only teammate just blew out his XLR. I'm in Chicago. There's only one thing I can do to buy myself some time. Sing the Family Matters theme song. Fancy! <laughs> Give it up for the wonderful staff here at the Comedy Bar. Oh, now. This is the second night of me doing shows here. And they didn't tell me that they have a wireless mic system here. <laughs> Because I'll tell you what, this is a big mistake giving me a wireless mic. Because you know what? Last night and earlier in the show, the dog was on the leash. But now... This dog's ready to bark. I can see you texting, ma'am. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Everyone will pay attention now. Wow, the woman has giant boobs. Wish you would have sat where this guy was sitting. Much more beautiful scenery farther in the back, but the dudes are like, trucks? They sit him front and center. I love trucks! I love it. I bet you guys in the corner didn't think that you were going to have good seats tonight, did you? Turns out, you have the best seats in the house now, huh? Sir, would you mind standing up? This is a beautiful, beautiful outfit. They, oh, put on the whole thing. Put on the whole thing. I work on trucks. You work on trucks? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that table is lifting up over there from that guy's boner. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of trucks do you work on and, and say it say it seductive for that man over there big mac trucks <laughs> that guy over there in the corner is like come on man why are you stealing my shine man? <laughs> i thought i had a thing with that guy <laughs> how long have you been in the trucking business Six years. Six years, amazing. And where do you purchase a suit like that that is a flannel suit? I got it online, shinesty.com. Not as paid sponsor yet, but I'm working on it. Use the promo code Jeremiah at shinesty.com to get 10% off every used flannel suit on their website. Go ahead and do that. What's your name, brother? Buck. Buck the truck driver? 
Wow, that guy's DT Buck, you know what I'm saying? Give it up for Buck, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Wow. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say, dude? Shouldn't have given me the wireless mic. At any moment, it can go out in the crowd. We don't know. It's hard to do a normal show after the circus act that just happened. <laughs> not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I take a quick moment to reset the energy in the room. We're headed into the third quarter of the show. Doesn't matter how hard you're killing though. Nothing will grab a comedian's attention faster than a disinterested audience member. And I took offense to that. You got something, uh, you got a hangnail or? Yeah, I like that his hangnail is more interesting than the stand-up. He's like, going to make sure that these are filed later. Oh, there's a show going on right now. Interesting. Have you two been together for a while? You've been a couple for a while? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very cool. How long have you two been a couple? About 10 months. That's not very long. Why did you say that like you've been dating for over 30 years? Oh yeah. A long time. 10 months, 10 months. That's actually pretty recent, sir. Where'd you two meet originally? coffee shop why is Chicago such an awe city I was doing shows last night and people kept going oh I'm like this isn't a full house episode this isn't Michelle Aww. what is going on they said they met at a coffee shop and this crowd's like that's so romantic you were drinking coffee in a coffee shop 10 months ago? That's crazy. <laughs> so how did you meet at this coffee shop? You're both getting coffee, apparently. <laughs> you guys are awing this man? <laughs> this guy's a serial killer. We just bumped into each other. <laughs> My last victim survived 11 months. <laughs> what do you mean that you bumped into each other? What does that mean? You bump, if you didn't know, usually when people say they bumped into each other as a phrase, a turn of phrase, it means that uh, you've known them before and then, oh, you bumped into them somewhere. But the way you said it is, you purposely checked her. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I didn't mean to shoulder you in the back, but my name's Rich, nice to meet you. <laughs> What, is, what does that mean exactly? You bumped into each other. This crowd, half this crowd thinks ro romance, and I think half this crowd should be thinking, uh, he's gonna kill her soon. <laughs> Who could resist that porcelain skin <sighs> that I would love? Have on my skin. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Just look at her. Aww. I can't stand when an audience awes after a joke. This dude was creepy. And I was going to put that on blast.
Have you ever dated an Asian woman before, sir? No. And ma'am, have you ever dated a uh, serial killer white guy before? <laughs> since, since, since you're here. Dated other white guys before? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Whoa. Somebody feels a little less special tonight, doesn't he? He's like, I thought I was here first. <laughs> Ten months, though. That's cool. You guys thinking of going the distance? Moving in together or anything like that? Pondering a destination wedding. It's in the woods. We will be married together six feet under the ground. Have either of you had uh, previous marriages before? And is, is she still with us? <laughs> we don't talk about volume one anymore. You call your ex-wife volume one? <laughs> yes. Not my finest work. But this, look at her. She's perfect. Amazing. And what about you? Have you had a previous marriage before? Nice. Is this number two for both of you, potentially? There were many others. We don't talk about those anymore either. I found out that my dad, that my mom was my dad's third marriage. Um, so it was the third time, the first two times, he didn't have kids with the first two wives, but on the third time, he had me and my brother and my sister. That's a good thing? Oh, the, I could have a Hocus Pocus family. Here she goes with the pop culture references again. Here she goes. You could have a Hocus Pocus family. What does that mean? A Hocus Pocus family? Where are the Saunders and sisters? Where are your step siblings? Please explain to me what a Hocus Pocus family is in any context, what you're meaning by that. But in the movie Hocus Pocus, now I'm fact checking your pop culture. Right? In the movie Hocus Pocus, what, what leads you to believe that all those witches have tons of different stepbrothers and stepsisters? This is a stretch. You're the one who brought up one of my favorite movies ever Hocus Pocus. So I'm just trying to get some validity out of what you mean by a Hocus Pocus family. In the movie Hocus Pocus, they move to a new school district in a new state where the brother and the sister are going to the same school and, and their parents are still together. Yeah. I, I'm not looking for you to be defeated and you go, you win, I yield. I was rather just looking for the meaning behind a Hocus Pocus family. Haphazard? Oh, so more like the phrase Hocus Pocus. I would not want to represent her in the court of law. 
She, she just crumbled over 30 seconds of pressure. It seems like we have a very similar likes in movies, though. What are some of your, your favorite movies? Sustained. <laughs> because I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Star Wars, Harry Potter, yeah. Yeah. Fast and Furious? Don't boo her movie choices, dude. Was that you? Who was it? This dude with the giant mitts? You don't like the, the Fast and Furious franchise? <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't about that life. I ain't about racing and family. That's not me, dog. What's a franchise that you like better than Fast and Furious? Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's some fellow nerds in the back that are like, yes, finally, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Uh, finally, somebody said it. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is a great one. That's a great franchise. I got good at the the the, the golem voice for no reason, and there's no there's no reasons to use it. You know, it's slightly outdated. But you know, is that one of your favorite characters in Lord of the Rings? Right. You know. Golem is like every, you know, woman in here trying to get that ring. You know what I'm saying, ladies? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, ladies? My old process! <laughs> Stupid fat boyfriend. <laughs> Never buys me the ring, Hala. <laughs> me wants it, me needs it. The Lord of the Rings bit that I was riffing was clearly internet meme humor. That's not in my playbook. Did the audience love it? They sure did. Sometimes as a comedian, you do a joke that you're not necessarily proud of. Then you do a joke for you. Someone in the audience had referenced the Fast and the Furious franchise, and I had an old Jason Statham bit that I've never released anywhere. Until right now. I like that they added Jason Statham to the Fast and Furious franchise. He's cool. Right? He's like the ultimate cool British guy. What do you mean by that? Let's talk right about this, right here, right now. I don't appreciate the way you're looking at me. He's one of those guys that if you ever tried to, you know, you know that cutesy thing that friends do when they like fight over who's gonna pay the check at a restaurant? I think Jason Statham would take it way too far. It's like, all right, Jason, it's your birthday, buddy. I'm gonna treat you tonight. Put down the bloody check. You don't wanna do this right now, do you? There's a lot of innocent people around. Put down the check, or it's your hand. <laughs> Jason, quit freaking out. I'm gonna get it. Waiter, right over here. My birthday, my treat. Put down the bloody check or blood will spill tonight. Mm, okay, whatever, waiter, right over here. I'm sorry, I have to do this. <laughs> Fast and Furious.
Furious 15 coming to a theater near you. <laughs> Felt good to dust off the Statham bit. It's silly, it's physical, I have a lot of fun doing it. Then I do a dirtier joke that horrifies four women that I see illuminated in the crowd. They're clearly appalled and now I have to try to win them back. The show is on the line and the clock is running out. I can see you illuminated by the lights and they're like, well, this was not the show that we signed up for. This is disgusting. I just had a deep dish pizza and now I'm about to vomit from the, <laughs> the beefy vagina jokes that this man's making. It's absolutely disgusting. How do the four of you know each other right here? These four ladies right here at this table? Mm -hmm. You all work at a dental office together? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow. Wow, you've been inside more people than this guy. <laughs> You had to like that one a little bit, dude. He's like trying, he's like, I will not smile for this guy. I will not give him credit for that joke. It's not happening. Dental hygienist. You do the flossing, don't you? Oh, that feels so good. That's like a fetish for me. If that was a fetish, like, like if it was like a dominatrix that you'd hire or something, it's like, oh, do you want to be whipped? I'm like, can you just floss my teeth? <laughs> I love it. I just love the... the <laughs> and I'm like, ha, 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 ha. I'm like, 12 more to go. Ha, ha. <laughs> Feels good, right? <laughs> yes. Do you ever take your aggression out and you say... <laughs> Right? You just slam it in there. You see a little bit of blood. You're like, bleed for mama, bleed for mama. This dental hygienist dominatrix over here, whipping them with floss, gagging them. Hell, hell. I see you ladies, y'all are freaks. I see ya. That's what it is. Do you ever have people who come into the dentist that are very afraid to be there, that have to be restrained or they have to go under or anything like that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you Are you a dental? Th these are all dental hygienists? Wow. This is like a company retreat tonight. What's going on? There's a dental convention in town. Dude, you're gonna get some oral tonight, brother. Did you guys have a good time today? I'm selling merch right up front. Come see me. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I had a blast with you. Have a great time. I'll see you up front. Thank you, I'm Jeremiah Watkins. I love that show. I love how it went, and I love Chicago. Are there things as a competitor that I wish I could have done differently? Of course. Did I say have a great tight instead of have a great night? Have a great tight! Have a great tight! Have a great tight! I absolutely did. There's always things to improve upon. The beautiful thing about comedy is there's always more games. There's always more playoffs. And there's always more championships. You're only as good as your last riff. <laughs>